Today is Wednesday, the 27th January of 2021. Valve just released a new sticker capsule to support teams and organizations. Another new capsule to flood the market, you think to yourself. Naturally, you go to the Steam market, search for Armour sticker and sort by price. Oh, they're close to 100 euros. Some stickers might be worth opening after all. We have steady growth in player numbers during this annoying pandemic. If people are buying these stickers and opening capsules, surely they will be good investments in a couple years. And the capsules are even cheaper than with previous majors. They even have a unique design as well. And team sticker golden ones, wow. Before, we only ever had golden autographs. Sure, they are bordered, but will Valve even ever do borderless stickers again? It's been almost seven years at this point, so probably not. This time, I won't miss the investment opportunity, like I did with several sticker collections before that, and they all resulted in profits. You think as you reminiscent about the past? You suddenly snap back into the present, looking at hundreds of millions of Paris capsules unboxed, as you start to wonder if your investments will have the same future as Arm R, leading for years to come. Two and a half years later, certain Arm R items are actually looking at decent profits. At least certain hollows, foils, and the contenders caps you'll do. About golds, well, that's still a failed investment in my eyes. Except if you had amazing timings with your pickups. Today, we will discuss if Paris's new arm are and what the next steps are for our investments. I'm thinking of comparing the following factors. We'll look at supply, look at demand, the sale itself, price action, sentiment, and uncertainty. In this video, I want to give away an Apex Hollow. So if you're interested in winning that, like the video, subscribe and leave a comment as usual. Remember, we are still on the hunt for the 2K giveaway. So double the benefits from subscribing. Thank you so much and let's figure out if Paris will be the next Arm R. Now to get everyone up to speed, let's quickly look at the reasons Arm R was considered a fail investment up until not too long ago. Firstly, up to this point, the Arm R stickers had the most supply because people were hungry for new stickers after there hasn't been a major in quite some time and the sale lasting very long comparatively to what we've seen before. The following Stockholm Major and Operation Riptide releasing that year crushed any hopes of there being significant demand for these stickers as the vast majority of players and investors see to prefer the new borderless collection much more. People speculating on uncertainties, namely gold team stickers not returning after RMR and while starting that trend with long sales and low capsule prices gave some investors a hard reality check. Now let's move to the comparisons, starting with supply estimates. Estimations from community members say that we could have around 225 million RMR capsules sold. Remember, those estimates are calculated based on the public organization's revenue that teams received based on capsules sold for qualifying during RMR in 2020. Unlike the data for Paris, for example, that I explained in a previous video. Let's continue with our past assumption that for every unboxed capsule for Paris, there is at least one that's unopened in inventories, making it around 644 million capsules sold. We are of course going to have certain margins we are moving in between when talking about these numbers, but I do believe it's fair to say we are looking at 2 to 3x the supply of Arm R for Paris. Having the sale for Paris go on longer, and in general longer availability by now, adds to the increased supply. Considering only the supply, it really really doesn't look good for Paris, so we better move on to the demand. Application rates for Paris Hollows are way lower than for Arm R stickers. That's mostly due to the high prices and different tiers of rarity I'm thinking. I believe it's likely that with new skins coming out, some new players joining and Paris prices dropping, we could see an increased application rate for these Hollows. Investor demand has been high for both collections, there's no doubt in my mind about that. Given prices are being held relatively high still, I'm thinking there's an even greater investor demand for Paris. Crafters or general player bases demand for Arm R was likely impacted negatively because there were no major associated with it. So there's no, let's say, esports demand that can of course drive hype for certain teams on nowadays autograph stickers as well. However, Arm R's relative application rate is still higher than Paris. When speaking about demand, I will have to mention that Paris stickers are considered one of the best looking collections, some argue even the best looking collection. They today are widely considered way better looking than Arm R, with some people still somehow preferring the average Arm R sticker looks wise. Contrary to that, when Arm R was released, the general consensus was that these look pretty good with their colorful new design, gold team stickers and looking decent when scraped. With CS2's release, we could see increased applications for both sticker collections with a potentially growing player base as well as new skins and lighting engine. Let's see what uncertainties we had for Arm R and what's on the horizon for them in Paris. With Arm R, a big factor for investments were the gold team stickers as I mentioned, that were the first of their kind back then. After Stockholm's release, it was clear that Valve wasn't planning to only have gold team stickers from the Arm R capsule. Back then, the Operation Riptide
outright drop later that year, setting prices down even further. It's assumed that there were a relatively high amount of capsules being bought before the RMR sale happened, so that added to the pain. Let's check out the pair's uncertainties and see if we find any similarities here. With CS2 being released just now, we didn't actually clarify many uncertainties. We still have the pair sale that will go on for god knows how long. We still don't have a clear view of content, like an operation that could come out affecting prices. What we do know is that there hasn't been any type of new stickers for Paris like there has been for Arm Art, so the gold team stickers disaster can be avoided here. In my mind, it's very likely Copenhagen stickers will also be borderless, but it's still uncertain of course. Laying out assumptions and facts, it's hard to not see any similarities between Arm Art and Paris. However, and that's the main difference I feel like here. Price action tells us there's significant demand for Paris stickers, and there will be for the next six months at least. In my mind, this will absolutely be the difference maker for Paris, making me think we won't have another RMR situation at hand. At least, not that bad. If the Copenhagen stickers are borderless and somehow look miles better, we would be in for a bumpy ride, that's for sure. Also, the temporary removal of the Paris sale did manage to spike prices, so that's kind of weird, I feel like, if the general consensus would be that this will be the next RMR. Could also only be FOMO, so yeah, still worth mentioning, I believe. If you want to see how I think about older stickers as an investment, check out this video. Thank you so much for watching.